keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Again, it's Elliott. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. So that'll back him up five. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and they just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? They'll try and throw for it here. Flushed out right. And it is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. And the D looking like they may blitz. They go play action here on first down. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And he's going to be marked down deep in Dallas territory. That one goes for 36 yards. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Doug Martin, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. The touchdown was scored by the runner, but the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly, allowed him easy access to the end zone. Now 21 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. That burst good for 20 and a first down. 
Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down, Elliott. And he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And the tackle's made there by one of the secondary members. And I can guarantee you, having played that spot in the huddle right now or on the field, they're urging for a little bit more support from the guys up front. I actually remember one game where I hopped over a defensive lineman to make a tackle downfield and realized he was 10 yards downfield. That's not good. That's being driven off the line of scrimmage, and you can't have that if you're going to win a game on defense. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll try the right side with Elliott. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. The Cowboys on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. The Cowboys on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. Shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Levante David able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. Prescott to throw it. Flush to his right. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Man, we see a lot of quarterbacks try and do this. They get out of the pocket, they get in trouble, and they try and force the ball into their star receiver to make a play, sometimes whether he's open or not. And I think this time, it was definitely an or not. Following the interception, Winston escaping the pressure right. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We'll make a quick transition here. You and I were going over our stat packs from week eight of the NFL. And how about two coaches named Sean, two first-year head coaches in the job that they're doing in the National Football League? On opposite coast, no less. Let's start out west, Sean McVay. The former Wonderkind with Washington as an offensive coordinator, now running things for the Los Angeles Rams, 31 years old, has his team off to a 5-2 and two start and threatening in the NFC West. Then you come back east, now you get a defensive guy, Sean McDermott, who came from the Carolina Panthers. He looks at it with different eyes, yet the same results, 5-2. and two. And how fun is it that at the beginning of the season, these two teams had a big trade. Yeah. Sammy Watkins went from Buffalo to the Rams, got E.J. Gaines from the Rams to Buffalo, and both teams are better. Fitting. Still floors me that McVay is 31 years old. Wow. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. 
Slot man moves right. They just do get the playoff. Now Winston. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. It's caught by Mike Evans. That one goes for 38 yards. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Winston now to throw on first down. Flushed out right. And this is caught inside the five. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Deshaun Jackson as the first half is winding down. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-nothing now. <laughs> Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. And he powers his way up past the 30. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll also wind up being the final play of this first half. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Final play of the half. Prescott steps away to his left. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 20.